I would like to change this this uh, from submit to pay now okay so very short and let's go ahead and get to it so if we go to the checkout form uh, first things first is adding a state property to our component so we'll do that let's add that right over here so I'm gonna do const and call it loading and set loading and by default we're gonna set it to false so we're gonna use use state so that means we're gonna have to import that so let's go above here and say import use use state from react okay so next is uh, where do we want to add this uh, within the handle submit where do we want to take you make use of this so we want to set the loading a true at the moment that we begin to call stripe so we'll do that right over here we'll set set loading to true and then we'll set it back to false once this process ends so we'll set loading back to false All right, and then and then finally is being able to display it within the UI. So we're gonna come here to the form, and uh, what we'll do is we'll right over here. We're gonna set a condition that says that checks that if loading, if that's true, then. Or I should say, if loading, then do something else, do something else. Now, if loading is true, we want to display a span tag. Give it a class name of fa, fa, spinner, and then fa, spin. All right, so that's for the spinner icon. And then if it's not loading, then we're just going to display a simple text that says, pay now okay so let's um, and actually one more thing is over here for the button in disable is that we want it to be disabled if there's not a stripe if stripe is not if not stripe and if not elements and also if it's loading so we're going to add to this when I say if if not stripe and if not elements and if it's loading then this button will be disabled okay go ahead and save that and let's go check it out all right so you see it's pay now all right so let's go go ahead and give this a shot and um, as as, as a matter of fact, let's go do some shopping here. Let's go to oh. all right. Let's go to the shopping page here. Let's um, check out the burgers and maybe some pastas. So I'll have a turkey burger, and um, yeah, let's say a pizza. So pizza. Okay, and let's go ahead and filter that. Let's say, let's say burgers. Okay, so we see burgers. All right, so we got the filters working. Good. Let's add veggie burger to the list. All right, so if we want to view more details. Okay, all right, let's go to the shopping cart. So we have four items. Let's add, let's increment pizza to two. Let's remove veggie burger and let's so now we got three items total is 46 proceed to check out okay so here we got a form and it says pay now 
Let's go ahead and um, add some details in our card number. I can just do one more one. And then let's actually try to submit this. And then you see it doesn't allow us because it the zip code was not included. Okay, if we play now, you're gonna see that that this spinner is gonna show up here for a moment and then we're gonna get redirected. So there's a spinner and we get redirected and you see the, pay, the message and it goes away. All right, all right, so that's all I wanted to, uh, improvement, that's the only improvement I wanted to add for this video. Uh, thanks for watching.